I would pack the rain gear. I know it's dry now, and there's a chance we get the first half of some of the football games right. dry, but I can't promise dry start to finish. Okay. So take the rain gear, Alrighty. take us along with you at the Live Doppler 13 <laughs> weather app. The good news, Scott, the risk for severe weather, that higher threat has now moved off to our east, covering a good part of Ohio. We're technically not out of the woods in terms of a strong to severe storm, but the threat is low and we'll definitely keep you updated. High temperature today, 73, down from highs close to 80 yesterday. Kind of a muggy morning low of 64 and officially at the airport in Indianapolis, just under an inch, 0.85. However, I have a friend in Kokomo. He tweeted me this picture uh, and captioned it. Mowing season isn't over yet. <laughs> he picked up he picked up two over two inches of rain. So big thanks to Dean in Kokomo and he's hoping the high school football games stay dry. And at this point, it looks like a dry start. The only rain I'm tracking on live Doppler 13 radar is in the far eastern part of the state. Heaviest pushing southeast of you, Richmond. It's right over Liberty south to about Blooming Grove as we enter Franklin County and we've got a a shower pocket of heavier rain just to the east of North Vernon. This is moving toward Jackson, so we'll keep a close eye on that. As I expand the view on radar, you can see why I'm telling you to take the rain gear. Shower, still a couple of thunderstorms, still building across parts of Illinois, eastern Iowa and Missouri, and all of this will continue to kind of filter our way. So the end half of those high school football games when we're expecting some of that steadier rain to return. 7 o'clock this evening as we kick things off for evening uh, outdoor plans, it's dry. But watch what happens between 7 p.m. and 9 p.m. You can see that steadier rain move back in. Farther east you are, better chance you stay dry a little longer. We'll all be dealing with some rain at 11 o'clock tonight. So when does it move out? Oh, around 2, 3 in the morning, and then the skies start to clear, and we've got some sunshine in that Saturday forecast, but it's going to be breezy, and it's going to be cool. Speaking of cool, morning temperatures tomorrow in the 40s, as low as 44 in Lafayette, 48 Shelbyville, 46 tonight in Bloomington, 46 at 8 a.m., 53 at noon. Check out these winds west northwest near 15 miles per hour will make it feel even cooler. The coldest night this weekend, and we may get a couple places in the upper 30s Saturday night into early Sunday. Sunday afternoon sunshine is back and so are the 60s, mainly sunny and a little bit warmer than what we're dealing with tomorrow, 64 on Sunday afternoon. And then that gradual warming trend will take us into the upper 60s, close to 70 Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday.